I, blubber I, on, as they say. I, I think about all the folks who have tuned in these Godwinks live at noon every Friday <laughs> and have said, that guy once ran Good Morning America? Yes. I mean, yeah, well, those were the days when <laughs> I guess they'd take anyone off the street. I know. Okay, so true. so can, uh, is there anyone talking to us? I have to just I, say. Let's not worry about okay. that. Okay. Uh, well, I want to make sure they're, they're well, saying Well, I know. This. Let's not worry about that. But here's one of the things that is going to happen today. Okay. Uh, we are going to show you a photograph of Louise and myself that we took behind mm -hmm. the scenes on the set of the Netflix movie mm -hmm. Rescued by Ruby. Oh, which, which and one of the stars? It's. I'm going to show you one of the stars. Is it going to be a, a furry one or a regular, <laughs> regular one? There were yeah. a couple of furry char okay. characters that's, in there. That's actually a clue. <gasps> yes, it's a furry oh, one. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So, uh, but let's, uh, before we get to that, let's, okay. let's talk about the Hallmark movies. Yes. And this really has been another exciting year for us to yes. be uh, on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries channel mm -hmm. as part of the Hallmark family mm -hmm. with the Hallmark Godwink movie we series. We love Hallmark. And, and tomorrow, uh, New Year's Day, is it New Year's? No, Sunday. Sunday, it's going to be a, a Godwin Christmas kind of marathon. A festival. Yes. Yeah. From, Do you from want to six run through o'clock? Sure. Yeah. You want sure, to go through from, that festival? Yes, yeah. on, on uh, this Sunday at 6 a.m., Yeah. Well, which we're, we're actually up at 6 a.m. <laughs> I don't know how many other people are up at 6 a.m. Well, that's only 3 a.m. in L.A., right. LA. my goodness. <laughs> right, yeah. right. So a Godwin Christmas, that's the first one. And yeah. And that story is about our dear friends who own the Charlotte Inn around the corner from us, yeah, Gary yeah, and Paul. It's a yeah. wonderful love story. And yeah. some people say that's their favorite. It's almost like your book. A books. lot of people. You know, sometimes I people know. say your first book is their yeah, favorite. It's, that, it's like your first date, your first girlfriend. Yes, that's your, true. Your, the first experience was always the, yeah. the favorite. Yeah. So I don't know. Well, I um, like it but... too because it's about martha's vineyard where we live yeah. and we got to show some of yeah. beautiful martha's vineyard which right. which is beautiful this and, time of and year and kathy lee is in that movie yes and that's the other uh, reason why i really like it and she she really was uh, great a, a, a great actor she's she's actually our co-executive producer on all, all of the, the godwink movies but i'm talking about being on the screen as an actor and, she and then so she great. was also in uh, godwink number two godwink number two which is a godwin christmas meant for love and that's at 8 a.m. And I love that one, too. And, you know, we got so many letters because the story is about a woman who falls in love, but she has MS. Yeah, so true story. It's a true, uh, the, all of them are true stories. But true stories of Alice and, and Jack, Jack Toda. Yes. Uh, and, and, you know, isn't it interesting that every single one of these uh, folks, each one of these couples have become very dear friends they of have. ours. Yeah. They have, and that's yeah. a blessing to us. Sure well, is. I think when someone shares their life with you, I mean, they, they all start, well, Gary and Paula we knew before, but they were yeah. the only, and, and there were others that we knew too, but but when, I, I know for Alice and Jack, when you got their story originally from one mm -hmm. of your books, mm -hmm. then we started talking with them yeah. and got together with them. We and, went to see them. They were living in Dallas at the yes. time. Yeah. And, and, you know, when you are talking about someone's personal life and they open up about their life yeah. and they know that what they're going through may help someone else, it puts it in a whole different category. It's not just yeah. acquaintances. They really do become dear friends. Yeah. And so the story is about a woman who does get MS. And we got so many, so many emails from people saying, thank you for mm. sharing that story with us. So often, you know, with MS, you can get depressed and, you know, yeah. it can be, it, it can be pretty debilitating, but you can, you can go on with your life. Yeah. You know, and Alice showed that and um and the love that alice and jack have for each other she oh, she still great. calls him her prince charming yeah she and they had a yeah. child together who's so wonderful okay so that is that one and then at 10 o'clock god wink christmas second chance first love and i love that that's number three yes yep, that's pat, a... pat moved pat had a first love yep. he and his girlfriend pat in high and school pat and they margie met in seventh grade at a dance mm -hmm. and that love was always 
Remember we were talking about the first love. That's true. <laughs> they never forgot that they, first love. They never went away. But you know how things happen? You know, you graduate mm -hmm. and you're kind of, you promise you got to go over to this mm -hmm. college and I'm going over there. And he went and, to Hawaii. Yeah, he went to Hawaii and he said, well, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll write all the time and we'll call all the time. But as time you went know, on, as time less went and on, less of the letters life came went on, yeah. and life went on. And then, so Margie happened to be back in her hometown where they grew up yeah. and Pat was visiting his mother with his two sons. Yeah. He'd since been divorced, had two boys, and they were driving in the car. He kept that same car that he had. Yeah. Well, his mother his had mother kept, had kept it yeah, yeah. and kept it going. Yeah, yeah. This wonderful old car back in the day. Yeah. And so, and Margie is driving down the street and she sees the car and she reminds her of Patrick. Yeah. And then she realizes it is she Patrick. Goes, beep, beep. Yeah. And it That's, is the yes. it is a true story. So now I have to tell you something. In many of these stories, um, we have to we have to adjust the story a little bit, and sometimes they are so complex yes, in real life. In real life, it's it's just too hard. It's to actually, shoot. more dramatic in yeah, real life. It's, it was more light because it was a huge traffic. Uh, jam on the 405. Uh, yes, but we had to make it Christmas yeah. where it doesn't snow in LA. So yeah. we had to. And, and so it had to be more practical yes. and so on and so forth. But it was even more dramatic and yeah. more God winky, the real story. Yeah. So, okay. And so that, that was the same thing with number four that you're going to talk yes. about now. Oh, yes. A God wink Christmas miracle of love. And that is about Eric and Joy. And that was the recent one. And, and um, now, Kathy Lee was in the first two. She wasn't in the second two. Not because she didn't want to be, right. but as we all know, that crappy COVID, COVID hit. And, you know, and Kathy said, look, you know, we had gone up to, when we were uh, filming for Netflix, our Ruby movie, we went up to Canada and you just have to be, you know, you have to be Maybe. in a hotel for yeah, two weeks, quarantine. Yeah. And, and she said, guys, you know. I'm getting too old to quarantine yeah. for two weeks in a hotel room said, in Canada. You're, you're our executive producer. You just work on that part of it. And so, we'll, we'll, we'll catch you when COVID's gone. But she loved but, all of them. Oh, yeah. She's but such she'll a be in the next champion. one because yeah. we're praying that in 2022, COVID will be gone. Can I just go, go back? Can I go off the track a little bit? Because I was reading something today that, uh, and I actually have been reading it lately, that this new new variant actually could be a blessing in oh, disguise yeah. because you know with well, some people are calling it the America, vaccine America, well oh, vaccine. oh right because a vaccine to COVID. yes and yeah, we're not you know we don't to, we yeah. don't we're yeah. just saying we're not scientists yeah. this is just what we have read so yeah. we don't know the whole truth and nothing but the truth but one thing we do know is if you do read back and in, in uh, these viruses they you know they'll they'll mutate they'll they'll get less and less and less. So if this one is hitting everyone like a train going through Alcart, it actually it's been called could be could be a miracle could be a blessing. Well, so and but not for people who lost others. You know we so know. many people, and can we talk about that too, Squire? That we're getting to the end of the year, and you always see on TV shows, you always see you know or in award shows people who have passed the year before, and I was just just in the kitchen, cooking, mm -hmm. and I was saying to you, oh my gosh, Squire, I forgot Cicely oh. Tyson died. Oh, Squire, yeah. I forgot, you know, um, one of the monkeys died. And, yeah. you know, and so you forget sometimes because they're, you always see them in films and everything, especially the actors, and you do forget when people died. And, and then they showed, and it just broke my heart, one of our dear friends, Gavin yeah. McLeod. Gavin McLeod. Yeah. He was so sweet. Of the love boat. Of the love boat. Yes. And, and Gavin loved the Lord more yeah. than anything. And yeah. I, actually, you have a story in one of your books, yeah. Couples Who Pray, yeah. one of our books, Couples About Who Pray. How they came back how together he and his wife through came back the together. power of prayer. Yes. And every time you have a, every time you say a prayer and that prayer is answered, mm -hmm. it's a God wink. That's If true. you go back and think about that, every time you had a prayer that was answered, mm -hmm. It was a God wink. It really was. And so that's why uh, God wink is now another word for answered mm -hmm. prayer. But you know something? Okay. Um, we the this one up. thing I wanted to say uh -huh. about God wink number four mm -hmm. was that we were talking about Eric and Joy, oh, the yes. real Eric mm -hmm. and Joy. Mm -hmm. And 
uh, a lot of people wondered what did the real Eric and Joy think about and what the do movie? All, all the couples think about their life being <laughs> yeah, on the screen for millions of people to see well they're very excited about it but they're also apprehensive yes. because we don't show them the script they don't see the movie no, before don't. any of you see it no. and so they're sitting there either in their home or or with their friends what have they done they're i've waiting, been trusted squeeze and and then <laughs> and then there are those cases about the exes you know the ex-boyfriend yeah. or um, you know, how are they being treated in this movie? Well, that well, that was the issue with Joy, because Joy had to break up. She was in love with Eric, and she, she did break up with her boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. So she felt bad. She said, yeah. do we have to put that in? We said, well, we kind of have to. Yeah, it's we do. Yeah. Part of the story. But, but, the, but the outcome was? It was gentle. No, but, like, but her outcome. Oh, she loved it. She loved it. She loved the movie. She loved and the it was a And Everybody it was a gentle... Was breakup yes it was because she's so sweet yeah joy she I just mean, didn't want to hurt anybody's she feelings. never wants to hurt anyone's feelings yeah. Yeah. and you know it's always fun too when you hear like i remember alice and jack they all they watched it with the whole family because her mother oh, was right and, and, and her mother had just yeah passed and away. kathy lee played the role of her mother and her mother was so uh Im important to, yes. to alice but her mother had just passed just away. Just passed away. Before, and yeah. so she had just passed away. So we, we went to the editors and we said, Could do you have time to put in there oh, in memory of yeah. and her mother's name? Yeah. And yeah. Alice didn't know we were gonna do no, that. She didn't. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Yeah. So they were all there, the there family. I know. And um But the one thing sweet. but one thing that Eric was thinking about. Now when the movie number four, which is uh, a Godwin Christmas meant for love. Um, it's the first movie where we've actually had a terrible crisis an accident, accident a life threatening accident. Mm -hmm. True story, mm -hmm. absolutely true. And believe me, the real story oh, was more, more dramatic, dramatic yes, it than was. this one. And uh, but in both cases, Eric is run over. Yes. By a truck. Crushed. Run over by His a truck. His organs crushed. Now, when Eric was watching this movie, his concern was, how was he going to deal with that moment that he had yes. put into another space yes. in his mind? Was that going to trigger and, something? And so when he saw the man who was playing Eric in the movie mm -hmm. crawl yeah. under that truck, yeah, and he hears yeah. the emergency mm -hmm. break a crack and go mm. loose. Uh, he felt for a moment yes. that very right. instant. As a matter of fact, in the movie, Eric picked up a wrench, mm -hmm. and when he saw that wrench, it was exactly, exactly the same, the one, same kind yes. of wrench that he had used under that truck mm -hmm. at that moment mm -hmm. when the accident occurred. Yes. But in both cases, mm -hmm. they, uh, Eric and Joy just were thrilled with yes. the outcome and were just very, very proud of that movie. Everybody's very proud yeah. of their movie. And, and I think one of the things that viewers say more than anything about the movies, they love the movies, but they love the fact that they're true stories and they love to see the real people. Yeah. So yeah. speaking of real people or pooches, speaking of real pooches. Yes, well, we promised you that yes. we will we will show you uh, one of the stars of Rescued by Ruby. Which, and here is the good news. Yes, well, it, it will air, they're telling us now, the middle of March Yeah, I don't think on you, Netflix. I don't think you air on Netflix. Oh, you don't. It yeah, will. It, it's released. It's released. That's <clears throat> released true. on Netflix. Okay. And, and uh, that's what they're thinking of. And yeah. we saw... The last cut. We did. Uh, I mean, we've With seen all the we've scoring. Seen 30, 30 mm -hmm. cuts during mm -hmm. the process, but we saw the final cut just days ago. Yes. And we were. We were blown away. And I have to say, one of the most beautiful things in the movie is the music. Yeah. The Budapest Symphony, which yeah. is one of the best symphonies in the world, did the score. And there's a wonderful young artist named joy i can't pronounce her last name it's she's chinese and so i can't pronounce her last name she's only 28 years yeah. old squire yeah. we were blown brilliant. away she's so brilliant yeah. and so she was the composer and got a 90 piece orchestra the budapest orchestra to do the scoring yeah. it's 
beautiful. It's just amazing. So just totally amazing. So we'll close but with We want to show you a photograph of Louise and myself behind the scenes mm -hmm. on when we were shooting this movie, Rescued by Ruby for Netflix. It's our it's a, it's a story that comes from Dogwinks. Mm -hmm. uh, the our the latest first story Dogwinks. in Dogwinks. It's a, it's an amazing story about Ruby. And here, here is, is the uh, the star who yes, plays Ruby. Ruby. That's, Beautiful, right? Oh my gosh! Beautiful. Isn't that amazing? I'm trying to get it so you can get a and, good and, shot of Ruby. And the Look pup, at Ruby. the pup's name. <laughs> woof, woof, woof. The pup's real name is Bear. Uh, and huh. bear was is yeah. a star. Bear is in like almost every scene. Yeah, just and an amazing. What they movie. have, what what these trainers got bear to do, yeah. or Ruby, and uh, it was just phenomenal, wasn't yeah. it? Oh, amazing! You're going to be blown away yeah. by it. As a matter of fact, next uh, this is I'm going to sign off with this. Next Friday at noon, we're going to show you uh, one of the other stars in the movie, but we're going to show you one of the key really key players and that is a photograph of one of the uh of one of the animal trainers with ruby mm -hmm. okay all right so well this you. is new year's eve we wish i think i need year. a kiss oh <laughs> i love you baby happy new year love you all <laughs> happy new another, year can i have another one yes. at midnight <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean now. I meant it. Well, you better end it. Save it up. Okay. And get a room. <laughs>